so we've been tooling around the Lake District all day on this. The Motor Guzzi, Motor Gutsy, however you pronounce it. Mark's from Birmingham, so um, he's probably going <laughs> to say Guzzi me. most of the time. Um, I might say Gutsy every now and again. Please forgive us. The first thing to say about it is it's a beautiful bike, right, Mark? Absolutely. I think, um, you know, styling-wise, it really is a very, very pretty bike, particularly with this with this variant, the stone variant, what you get as a, as a differentiation from the other um, categories in uh, in the V7 range is you get everything in matte. So everything's been de-chromed, yeah. sh shortened fender, matte exhaust, matte paintwork. You can have four different uh, colorways for this particular bike thing. Too. I mean, I'm a bit of a fan of the um the idea that it's that it's been de-chromed and it's it's matte yeah. because i tell you what there's not a lot of weather protection on this bike so <laughs> you know and if it was chrome man you're forever going to be polishing it aren't you well i think and I, it is a bike that needs to be polished because you know everyone and everybody who's seen this bike has gone bloody hell that's a nice bike yeah well i mean you know i think for me the this particular type of motorcycle is more about kind of cruising touring and the way it looks yeah it's you know it's a lot to, you know somebody who's going to buy this bike is not going to want you know they're not looking for a fire breathing rip snorting performance machine because let's be honest it's this not is not one, one of those no, no, no. um you know so, it very much is about comfort about relaxation about you know cruising precisely that yeah um you know, I think we've discovered that today, riding it around. You know, well, it, it's, sure, not so the, it's not the fastest thing in the world, no, is it? No, it's not. But it's certainly you can sit on it all day long. Um, and from that perspective, it's hugely enjoyable. Mm. Um, and I also think in terms of the kind of look of it, sort of matte finish, that is a more modern style. So this bike came out in 2017. It's the 50th anniversary celebration of, um, of the V7. So the bike's been around a long time. Mm. And again, in terms of silhouette and design, it's very, very similar. It's very, very similar to the way it's been over the last five decades. Um, they have improved it slightly in terms of the technical side of it. Um, obviously, for 2016 regulation, uh, uh, legislation, it's got ABS. This bike also comes with traction control. Um, we were having a conversation about this this morning. We're not <laughs> entirely sure why uh, a bike with 52 horsepower needs traction control, but it has got a switchable traction control on it. Sure. Um, but they have improved power, so power is slightly up to 52. Um, but for me, I think, again, in terms of the style of the riding that you would do on this, it's got a higher torque figure, so it makes yeah. 60 newton meters of torque, which means, you know, you can just waft along on that sort of wave of torque in, you know, longer yeah. gears, third, fourth gear. You don't really need to change down more than that, and it will just tool around in traffic. It will tool around at 30 to 60 miles an hour really gently and easily you know it, yeah like you say it's not a performance bike for me personally i'd love to see about another 40 horsepower in it. <laughs> um, yeah well yeah you, perhaps you, you know because because it just looks the part it looks angry i'd you know as well i think you know when i turned it on i must be honest i was a little bit disappointed because you, you know the look of the thing it it while it looks beautiful it also looks a little bit you know, like it should th sound, sound something as well. I, I think, think the I think first thing you're gonna to have to do is is, is it's changed. But I think I think it's yeah. important. Yeah, sorry to cut. I think it's important to say that you know, with Moto Guzzi, one of the things you can do is kind of accessorise mm. in a pretty significant way. So, I, I would absolutely agree. With that. One of the first things I'd be doing is, is probably changing the exhaust, even if it's just the end slip on. But you, obviously, um, in kind of researching this particular model, um, there's loads of different options for that. So you can you can put on some much sexier end cans, yeah. much sexier full exhaust systems, and something that sounds a little bit more. I guess you might say in keeping with it. I mean, I, I do think um, yeah. it still makes a reasonably nice noise. It's just not particularly loud. No, no, it's no. Not, it's not very standoutish in that way. Is and, it? I, and I think adding the adding that little accessory on would just match the sound with the look. And yeah. for me, that would just make the bike like a million times better. It, it, re it really would. You know, perhaps it doesn't need that extra power. Perhaps actually all the bits are kind of commensurate with the kind of power that it's got. You know, obviously, you know, if it did have a load more power, it'd need another brake. You know, we're talking about a single S single disc brake. I mean, I, I think disc you, brake. it's also important to know. You know, this is the this is Motor Guzzi's Guzzi Guzzi. In, uh, it's their entry level motorcycle. So this is where you would start. In fact, they do do an A2 um, detuned, A2 license friendly variant of this. And again, you know, when you ride this bike, you know, if, if you were somebody who was just coming onto their first big bike, maybe you'd be riding a 125 or a 250, yeah, it's perfect uh, or perhaps you, you, know, you haven't been riding for years, you're coming back to it. It's a nice place to start to have a full size motorcycle. Mm. Um, 
because it does it, it is a full-size motorcycle you know you it and i've ridden plenty of bikes over the last couple of years testing uh, various different things and it does it, you know it's a full-size bike big tank plenty of range mm. um, but you can have a bike with slightly less power than this and you could you could get onto it even as an a2 license holder so you know they're, they're trying to appeal to quite a broad market range i suppose if we talk about the specification of it mark it's, uh, it's 52 horsepower 60, 60 newton meters of torque 60 newton meters of torque so, yeah it's quite a unique a transverse v-twin yeah. so i mean that's one of the one of the quite uh, cool aesthetic appeals of this bike is that sure. you've got this really nice kind of um, v-section motor mm. shaft no, driven, shaft motorcycle. driven. So, so it's not going to need the same maintenance no absolutely it? um i mean it, I wouldn't necessarily say it's the cheapest motorcycle out there no. uh, uh, for, for this type of bike. Retails at seven, uh, seven nine nine nine. 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 Yeah, ninety one um, pound something a month yeah. is the finance quote we got. If you so if you to put two thousand down, uh, ninety one pound a month on over, a personal contract purchase, yes. you have a balloon payment at the end. But yeah. ninety, I mean, you know, and that, that to me, you, you sort of break that down. It's less than twenty five quid a week. It's yeah. it, it, it certainly appears affordable, it's, doesn't it? One hundred percent. So to have a proper full size naked motorcycle with a huge amount of style and a and a very uh, um, characterful V twin, ninety three pounds a month, not bad. So obviously, a big part of us actually testing these bikes is not only from the enjoyment of doing that part but also testing the gear that we're making as well and needless to say we've actually been donning the full Knox outfit from head to toe today and we're actually going to make a video separately to this where we talk about the gear in more detail so I'm going to put the link in the description please go and check that out um, if you'd like to know more about the gear that we have been wearing. So in terms of the riding experience and Mark I mean yeah. what, what's your opinion? Well that's what we're here for. Um, I think we've got a slight slightly different view on this haven't we? Yeah. I, I, I mean obviously for me you know I've having having sort of read what Motor Gutsy have said about the bike and the, the sort of type of riders they think are going to uh, most suit this motorcycle um, having that as a context you know my expectation was that it was going to be a pretty relaxed cruiser type of motorcycle and to be honest with you that's exactly what I found I found it you know the seat is soft the suspension setup is pretty soft it's not a particularly stiff, stiffly sprung bike um, you know it is about uh, it not being intimidating it being comfortable you've been able to relax on it you've been able to sit on it you know regardless of what environment you're in whether you're commuting whether you're you know out having an at all around the country lanes or whether you know you decide you're going to strap a couple of bags to it and do a bit of touring um, you know it I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't personally say that it's a, a, an overly agile motorcycle. Um, I don't think it's kind of fast steering. I do think it is. is uh, you know, it is very much focused on comfort, uh, relaxation, and it gives you an opportunity to enjoy the environment you're in rather than focusing on head down and wallop. As yeah. it were, yeah. what, you know. What, I, I, it, well, I'd well, I'd agree with like ninety percent of what what you've said. To be honest, I think actually it's a ridiculously easy bike to ride. I so would agree with that absolutely. So, so if you're so if you're new to biking, if you're like on an A2 license or something, I think they do a kit that makes it A2 li license compliant. Yeah jump on this bike this is going to be an awesome first proper big bike for you if you're if you're in that position also as well if you if you're loving the look of it you know that's obviously going to be a big factor for you if you're looking at this bike it's certainly not intimidating all the handling the braking all is commensurate with the engine actually Absolutely. so yeah. you know none of it's none of it's sharp you know I think none it's of important. it's super modern yeah. um, but but it all goes hand in hand for the type yeah. of bike that you're expecting so probably if you've got if you've got that kind of experience, expectation in your mind this bike is probably going to live up to it pretty yeah. well i think where it do, there's a couple of little niggles on it for me i mean you know while it's got abs and while it's got the traction control actually you know daft stuff doesn't work maybe that's an italian thing i'm not entirely sure but like the gear selector is like super lazy and i don't know why in 2018 they can't sort that out i mean my 2008 Jigsaw is absolutely pin sharp when think, it comes I to think, gear selector. I think it's what most people like call still... character, isn't it? Yeah, right. It's character. The, there's, I've got one major bone to pick about this bike, and right. it is the side stand. So okay. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know whether you've got to have a certain length of inside leg, but trying to either put the kickstand down or or bring it back up is virtually impossible. Aside mm. from that, you know, it's incredibly easy to use, isn't it? 
And obviously we want to thank as well at this point uh, Via Moto for loaning us the bike, also providing all of the um, information in terms of the cost and monthly payments. Absolutely. And if you'd like to go ahead with that offer, um, please get in contact with them. There's a link in the description. They're also actually a, a, a real premier Knox centre in the UK as well. So if you're looking for Knox equipment in that Midlands area, Via Moto, a great choice. Please go and check them out. Absolutely. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, probably in-depth review now um, we, it feels like we've been talking for quite a while about it anyway so look please like this video please subscribe please comment we'd love to hear what you think and uh, yeah we will see you on the next review